surprised to see you and Noah jogging in the park this morning. Really? I had no idea that you went in for jogging. Life's just full of surprises, isn't it? Didn't Noah look cute in his little running suit? Tell me, Bobby. You go running with him every morning? Amy, did you have a chance to get all those messages in order? Mm hmm Just like the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E. I know D, the alphabet, e. Amy. Mm. You know, Drake makes such a nice last name. It goes with just about everything. You know, it would make a great double last name. Kind of like Summers Drake or even Spencer Drake. Kind of like one of the names out of an old Gothic novel. So many single Amy, women today like... Would you answer the phone, please? Well, I was just about to. Main desk, Miss Vining. Noah, what's the matter? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I overdid it. Okay. What happened? You weren't limping when we left the park. I thought yeah, you were kidding. Oh, I hurt my ankle. Okay. Guess I'm a little out of condition. Okay, bye bye. Do you have somebody to look at it? Hello, Noah. Oh, hi, Amy. What happened to your leg? Ah, oh, it's no big deal. No. Well, listen, um, why don't you go for some therapy? There's the orthopedic pool on the third floor. Huh? Wait a second, wait a second. I have a much better idea, honestly. Yesterday, in Mrs. Hardy's class, we learned about giving alcohol rubs. And I could do a lot for a sore leg with an alcohol rub. Oh, thanks, Amy. I don't think so. Are you sure? You'll never know until you try. <laughs> Listen, kiddo, you could lose your nursing license before you ever get it with dialogue like that. Leslie, I didn't mean anything like that. We know, Amy. I am so misunderstood. Can't win, Amy. Stick to the textbooks for a while. Oh, Noah, you're a man of common sense. All I was trying to do was... Uh, never mind what you were trying to do. Just tell me if I have any messages. They would be under the W, Amy. Just one. It's from Laura, and she would like to know if you and Rick will join her for lunch. How very nice. Oh, thank you, Marcy. I'm checking out for lunch. Just in time to help me devise a therapy program for my foot. <laughs> foot. Keep your eye on those textbooks. Oh. <laughs> having for lunch? Mm, we're all being very good. Crab meat salad. Oh. Well, as good physicians, we have to practice what we preach. And... <laughs> well, yes, you're right, but I'm in the mood for something lavish and loaded with calories. How about some lobster and cream sauce? Mm. Oh. Let's do it. <laughs> have, a have a good one. Bye. You too. Cute to see Bobby with Noah. She seems to be having so much fun. She seemed so lost and lonely after Roy died. I'm glad that she's happy now. You're yeah, right. Well, it's turning out to be a fine doctor as well. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I agree. It's, uh... Bobby hasn't had an easy life. She certainly deserves all the happiness she can find. Are you by any chance thinking about another member of the Spencer family right now? <laughs> of course I am. It's just, I, I see Bobby and Noah, and I just... I just wondered if uh, Luke and I would ever have that kind of easy, carefree time together. Laura, you know that your mom and I want nothing but happiness for it. Yeah, I know. I know. I love you for it. I wish wanting it meant we could give it to you on a platter. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want it that way. Look, I know that you have never been overly fond of Luke. That's not true. I like Luke. Well, the problem is we just don't know him well enough. That's all. We don't get a chance to. He's never around. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I, I guess I forget sometimes that most of my time with him has been spent outside of Port Charles. Mm, well, last summer certainly was. Tell me something I've often wondered. Do you think about Beatrice Corners a lot? Yes, I do. Quite a lot. You know, so much happened to Luke and me last summer. Yes, it sure did. You know, when I think about all the changes that I've gone through in the past year, I, I can't believe it, really. I was really just uh, a kid when I ran away with Luke. Oh, I'm glad I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're lucky, too, because I wouldn't have listened to you. I was very, very stubborn. <laughs> Laura, as your father, you have to realize that I would be concerned about a man who took my daughter gallivanting all over the countryside, to, no matter how exciting the uh, escapades may have been. Dad, listen. I know that you and Luke are going to like each other a whole lot. You just have to get to know him. Really, he's a fascinating person. Oh, honey, you don't have to justify him to us. That's not what I'm doing. I just want you to understand that he is the only man for me. Funny how.
know, I guess that. Well, I can accept that part of it, but I got some unanswered questions. Like what? Like, where is he? What happened at the auction? Did he take the statue? I mean, that is behavior that I would say was slightly out of the ordinary, wouldn't you? Oh, that's for sure. Okay. Do you know what was going on at the auction? No. No, I don't, really. All I do know is that Luke is working for the Quartermains, and whatever happened at that auction, it had to do with them. That's a little vague, as far as I'm concerned. I know it is, but it's gonna drive me crazy trying to figure it out. Now, right now, I just have to trust Luke. And all I do know is that I love him. I can accept that working for the Quartermains is not gonna be ever your ordinary run-of-the-mill kind of job. I wonder about that, you know, for your future, yours and Luke's. Like, where is he now that he's disappeared? Is he on some sort of mysterious uh, um, errand for the Quartermains? You can't live on love, mm. honey. Now, Luke's got to work. Is that what you or he wants for his career, his future? Look, I don't have any answers. I really don't. All I know is that Luke is missing right now, and I have to find him. How are you going to do that? Actually, I do have a plan. And that's, that's really why I asked you to have lunch with me. Oh, is there something we can do to help? No. <laughs> no. You can, uh, you can give me a lot of moral support. Got it. And you can also promise me that you won't worry about me while I'm gone. Oh, Joe, just a second. Does that mean you're going someplace? Yes, Dad, I am. Oh. I'm just gonna be gone for a little while. I'm going to some place that I think Luke might have gone. It's the only place that he knows outside of Port Charles. Beecher's Corners. And I know that if you were in some kind of trouble, that's the place he would go. I just know it. What kind of trouble could he be in, Laura? Mother, I don't know what the trouble is. I feel as though I'm working in the dark. All I know is that I've got to find him. I've just got to see him. I, I have to know if he's alive. Thank you, Miss Wynn. What does she mean she's got to find out if he's still alive? Do you think I know? I don't know what she means. We should have asked her. You think we'd have gotten a straight answer? No, probably not. Okay. What are we going to do? I would say that we do absolutely nothing. She's a mature adult now. I think she's got in her head that she's going to go off to Beecher's Corners. I don't care what we do, she's going to do it. I wish Beecher's Corners would just disappear. I wish the whole town would just disappear. That's a great idea. You know what you do then? She'd go out and try to find where it disappeared, too. <laughs> You're right. Oh, why am I so terrible? Why don't I ever learn? I tell myself every hour on the hour I'm not going to worry about her anymore, and then all I do is worry about her. Because that's you. That's how you are. You care. Be that way the rest of your life. Okay. It's all set. I am going to be leaving for Beecher's Corners on the 3 o'clock bus, and it's going to be leaving on time. What about your job at the Quartermains? You told them that you're leaving? No, don't worry about that. I'm going to call Alex Quartermain and let her know that I'm going to be gone for a few days. Well, but, but yeah. somebody there should know. You and Luke both work for them. Somebody should know where you're going and what you're doing, don't you think? No, Mother. I don't want anybody to know where I'm going. Laura, I... Mother, please. You have to promise me. I don't want you to say anything to anyone. I don't want anybody to know where I am. Now, will you promise me that you'll do that? If that's what you want. It is. Well, what about luggage? Uh, don't you feel by your problem? I already have a bag packed, and it's sitting in the cloakroom right now. A bag packed. Well, I guess there's nothing more we can do, is there? No. Please try. I'm gonna be okay, really. I appreciate this. You'll call me. You've gotta call me and let me know where you are this time. You promise me that? Yes, I will. I, I've really gotta be going now, okay? Yep. Well, don't worry. Oh, we never Fine. worry about you, Laura. Never. Yes, no. you do. Mm -hmm. Easy for you to say. It's because I don't mean it. We'll talk. Have fun. Yeah. We will. Have a nice day. Don't worry now. I'll be in touch. Have a nice oh, bus ride. She says that to me once more. Mm. I don't believe this is happening. It just did.
It's finished. It's done. Gone. She's, She's going off to somewhere to find the man she loves who may or may not be in trouble and who may or may not be alive. Well, that's about the extent of the facts we know, yes. Well, I know one more thing. Well, what is that? If anything happens to her, I wouldn't want to be Alex Quartermain or anybody else who's involved.